Aquarius, you need to know this right now for May the 11th through May the 12th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for May the 11th through May the 12th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for May the 11th through May the 12th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for May the 11th through May the 12th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. You guys, support the channel with links in the description for my store. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aquarius, these are your cards, honey. So, Aquarius, you have the two of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This could be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So Aquarius, you can tell me that you're weighing things up trying to decide should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Clarify the two of pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the two of pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the two of pentacles for Aquarius. It is clarified with the ten of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a ten, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Aquarius, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. Now, Aquarius, you could be weighing things up, trying to decide or debate whether or not you're over a betrayal. Or Aquarius, you're telling me that this person betrayed you because they were juggling. Aquarius, you have the four of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear that the offer will be rejected. So Aquarius, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Clarify the Four of Cups. For Aquarius, clarify the Four of Cups. For Aquarius, clarify the Four of Cups. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement, but you may be beginning to change your perspective. So Aquarius, could be dealing with a Pisces. But you're telling me that you guys are stagnant. Something is hanging in the balance. However, you could be changing your perspective. Clarify the hangman for Aquarius. Clarify the hangman for Aquarius. Clarify the hangman for Aquarius. It is clarified with the nine of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Aquarius, you can tell me that you're getting your wish. Could be feeling smug here or overindulging, trying to numb out. Now, Aquarius, the only reason you would be getting your wish is that you come in with this offer after being stagnant because you caused this betrayal because you were juggling, okay? However, Aquarius, you can tell me that 
you uh, Aquarius, you can tell me that you guys are stagnant, but you're not quite sure if this is your wish because they're coming in with this cup. Remember when I said you could be debating on whether or not you're over a betrayal? So I feel like maybe you deciding on taking this cup is hanging in the balance. Also, you guys are stagnant, but they're coming in with this cup. And again, it's hanging in the balance here. So you may not want this cup. You could also tell me that you're stagnant and they're offering you this cup, but you don't want it. And maybe you're overindulging trying to send them out because you're still trying to get over this pain. Aquarius, you have the six of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Aquarius, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here. Or this is an announcement being made. Clarify the six of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the six of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the six of wands for Aquarius. It is clarified with the two of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Aquarius very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Now Aquarius, this can be an agreement. Something is being brought to your attention concerning some type of an agreement here. Okay. It could be some type of offer that you feel like you can refuse. There's something in the mix that is not right. Aquarius, you can tell me that something is being brought to your attention concerning your soulmate. Are you discovering that they were juggling and caused you this betrayal? However, Aquarius, unless you cause this betrayal, this very well could be you trying to get their attention and maybe wanting to apologize here. You could also tell me that you realize that this person is your soulmate. Aquarius, you have temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. Could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that hate. I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarified temperance for Aquarius. Clarified temperance for Aquarius. Clarified temperance for Aquarius. It is clarified with the king of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. Could be dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Five of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Aquarius, you can tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or there is a breakup. Now, Aquarius, you can tell me that you're taking action because there was a lack of compromise and negotiations concerning this agreement here it could be some type of lack with these coins that's the betrayal 
Aquarius, so you can tell me that you're taking action to break up with this person, that you're needing to heal individually on your own. However, Aquarius, you can tell me that you guys are broken up and are stagnant, but it's your wish to come in with this offer because you caused this betrayal. And you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Aquarius, you have the star. This is you, Aquarius. But the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So, Aquarius, this is you. Clarify the star for Aquarius. Clarify the star for Aquarius. What about Aquarius? What about Aquarius? Clarify the star for Aquarius. It is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much. Anything that a person does too much of or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Aquarius could be dealing with a Capricorn, but when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Aquarius. Clarify the devil for Aquarius. Clarify the devil for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Aquarius, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here. Or this involves children. Now, Aquarius. Aquarius, you can tell me that this is concerning some type of legal binding contract, some type of an agreement here, Aquarius. Maybe, I don't know if you were like hoping that you got the same deal that took place in the past, Aquarius. Or I want to know if... I want to know if... Say this. I want to know concerning a legal binding contract or some type of an agreement, Aquarius, that there was a lot of back and forth, a lot of trying to compromise and negotiate, a lot of hanging in the balance. Um, I don't okay, like what is the term I want to use? It's like waiting someone out. Um I don't know, raising the ante, lowballing the deal, whatever the deal is. Because I want to speak on this legal binding contract. And Aquarius, I feel like this back and forth with this legal binding contract or an agreement, there's some type of disappointment or letdown because at the end of the day, I hope you don't feel like this was actually your wish, wish. And you left it hanging in the balance because of the back and forth of the compromise and negotiations and you end up missing out. Okay. You end up missing out. And I hope you don't grow to regret that. It's almost like when I look at this sentence, it's almost like it's telling me that hindsight, I realized that that was actually my wish and I should have went for it 
at the time when I was over here debating and thinking about missing it and leaving it hanging in the balance. So this is the reason why I want to approach that. Okay, Aquarius. Aquarius. Could also tell me that this relationship is toxic. You could have found out something that happened in the past. Or you found out that they were dealing with someone from their past out here juggling. And that's the betrayal. Aquarius, you could also tell me that is you being so tempted to reunite with this person. And if that's the case, Aquarius, is you wanting to come in with this offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. It would be your wish that they accept this offer because guess what? You were the one that caused this betrayal. I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames exposed for you and your partner, Aquarius. You guys, support the channel with links in the description for my store. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, you are too good for me. I'm not used to that. You are too good for me. I'm not used to that. I don't know who could possibly say that. Okay. Let's take a look at the hidden truth oracle for you and your partner. You are good enough, Aquarius. Everyone is. Always remember that. And it says, I bury myself in work to forget you. <laughs> I can believe that. I bury myself in work to forget you. Aquarius, you need to know this right now for May the 11th through May the 12th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.